My name is Faz. That's Foxtrot Alpha Zulu. Before I came here, I used to spell that as France America Zebra. So now I have a cooler way of, of spelling my name, Foxtrot Alpha Zulu. So as a group head of talent, what I do is I look at uh, strategically managing talent. Basically, I focus on three roles, succession management, uh, talent mapping or talent review and leadership development for the one percent meaning the top of the house you know the CEOs and the people reporting to them so that's uh, the three main focus in my role as talent management head. What happens when people don't get developed? What happens when people don't see a path ahead of them on what do I do next? What do I focus on next? What's my next job in here? How can I grow? Then not only the people don't grow, the organization doesn't grow. So that's the underlying factor of why it's so important to grow people. Because we are a business and we are all like a, like a football team. We're all pushing for the goal, pushing to win, to win the league, right? So if, if we are not growing, if, if we are not developed, then we'll have to be on the bench and that is costing the team and the team owners money, right? Similar in an organisation, we are always working on how we can deliver high performance and that can be done only by continuously growing and developing. renowned experts and also a lot of um, articles and books they all share the same finding recruitment or attracting of great talent doesn't stop when they come on board so a lot of this is about finding the right kind of people who want to be in this organization so this is a very social organization we, where the dream of the founding fathers and, and all of us <laughs> Uh, reporting to them and, and driving the strategy is for people to recognize that there is a learning opportunity everywhere every day even in a conversation like this so to get the, the people who will be welcoming these kind of approaches is just the first step so when we have the people looking for these kind of approaches and we have the initiatives in-house they are the the, the match will be there and we will be hoping, I'm, I hope, we'll be preaching to the converted. A few years ago, my bosses told me to write a policy. So I was like, wait, I'm a manager, I'm writing a policy? And they said, yeah, we need a policy. So you're a manager in, in HR, in the people department. We need a people policy on something. So you've got to write it. Okay. So that policy would, was aimed to help uh, our ground staff, our ground services staff, to uh, have first priority in movement and, and to become cabin crew. So I wrote that policy, the requirements, a simple uh, standard operating procedure and process on how to make it happen. And uh, shortly after that, when that policy was approved and implemented, we communicated that to, to fellow colleagues and managers on how to make it better, how to make it happen. I saw the result of that policy. I, I was working in KLIA too and I saw a former guest services officer now in cabin crew uniform heading towards his flight. He was walking on that walker later and he was so happy it showed on his face. And I was thinking, wait, I helped make it happen. I mean, sure, it's a group effort and all that, but I helped make it happen. I did, I played my role to make it happen and it was a conscious role. And that's what I love about being here. Every day, there's a chance for everyone to make a difference. Whether we realize it or not, that's of course up to the individual. But every day, there's a chance to make a difference. I don't know all the other allies in the world. 
<laughs> but what I do know about AirAsia is this. We're not just an airline. We're a theme park. <laughs> we're, <laughs> we're, um, we're a place where dreams come true. So we're also a magical kingdom. <laughs> We're driving the digital agenda in a disruptive world. We're making dreams happen. We're, I'd like to think that here in AirAsia, we're kind of like a life lab. Not future lab. We're kind of like a life lab because this is where we test a lot of innovative ideas. Some work, some don't, but the key idea is this is a safe space to test it out because we want to make it better for the world. We want to help make travelers travel better, people work better, faster, and have more fun. So it's a life lab. And that's what I love about this airline too. <laughs>